Matthew Bamberg. I'm a photographer based in beautiful Palm Springs, California. Uh, today I have two new books that I wrote that just came out. Uh, one of them is called Photography Applications for Cloud Computing and the other is called Beginning HDR Photography. Both books are very different. Now let's begin with this one because this one it's less obvious as to what it is. What we know about the cloud is that your files go into cyberspace, into servers where you don't know exactly where they are. But you have to be trusting of these servers because they keep your photos pretty safe. Uh, the people that run these servers are people like uh, Google and Amazon. And when you put your photos there, you directly access them just as you would from your camera or from your computer, except that you can access them on any device. Um, there's two different kinds of storage. One is backup. Uh, surely you've heard of Carbonite. It's been advertised um, for the past couple of years, and that is only a backup service. Backup means that you, you, you can only have one computer, you can store as much as you like, but when you delete a file on your computer, it's deleted on the Carbonite server shortly thereafter. If you want pure storage and if you want your photograph portfolio to be out there all the time, then try Google Drive or Amazon Cloud Drive. Those two services are for storage. You can store as much or as little as you please and you pay by the amount stored. Carbonite, on the other hand, you pay $59, or I believe it went up. Anyway, it's a certain amount per year to back up your files and you can back up as much as you want. So if you just want a backup service, use Carbonite. If you want storage, use Google Drive or Amazon Cloud Drive. And everything explained in this book are directions step by step to use each of these um, different platforms. And I also teach you what the cloud is all about, the history of the cloud, and exactly where your photos go and how secure they are. Okay, that's photography applications for cloud computing. My next book is pretty obvious as to what it is. It's Beginning HDR Photography. Now, this book is very good if you are not familiar with HDR photography and have just a little bit of experience with photography in general. What it does is I teach both photography and the new concept of HDR photography at the same time. Um, you can do HDR photography in Photoshop, in Photoshop Elements, although that's very limited. And the most, the most popular type program where you have the most options is Photomatix Pro. Um, each of these platforms is covered step by step in this book. All you have to do is follow the steps if you want to make a beautiful HDR photograph like this one of Seattle. So those are my two books. Um, thank you very much for listening. And check me out at digitaltravelerblog.com. Bye, everybody.